our people survive by inventing or adapting to new technologies. Igiagic, Alaska is right here on the map on the banks of the Quijack River. The water and salmon have sustained this community for centuries. The village council president is Alexana Salmon. We're just a water people. It's our only drinking water and it has a lot of power. An isolated town of 71 people isn't really on any power company's radar, so they've always made their own. With polluting generators and bush pilots constantly flying full tanks of diesel fuel over pristine land. But what if they didn't have to do that at all? The river is right here, and it never stops flowing. It's 24-7, 365. Here in our country and around the world, there are a lot of people who just don't have access to the traditional power grid. Somewhere between 700 million and 2 billion people who could stand to use a device like this that sits inside your town, creating constant power to the neighborhood. And it's completely green. Well, blue with yellow stripes. All we're doing is converting uh, the velocity uh, of the river in, into energy. This sits on the, on the river bottom. We are sitting inside the massive RivGen power plant. Right now, engineers are placing this second generation device underwater in Alaska. Yeah, the second pipe's up, you see, uh, that's that's where the river level is. ORPC President John Furlan built it in an airplane hangar not far from this 1980s traditional power plant in Brunswick, Maine. I drove by a hydroelectric plant over there. What's the difference between that dam and this? We're using far less land area. We're not stopping the river. <laughs> Alexana is a Dartmouth graduate in a very traditional community one of the best sockeye salmon fishing spots in the world. Climate change is not an abstract concept to them. They live it every day. The river's winter ice cover is rapidly changing and they need sustainable power. They've grown up in an industry of renewable energy, number one. It's not new to them. It's not alternative. It's like, well, that's how energy is done, right? Day and night, even under the ice, it powers an underwater cable, literally a lifeline. And comes up to here tied onto the community's grid. And if it works up here? I mean, eventually you'll, you'll see public infrastructure, bridges, uh, piers, breakwaters, flood control systems that may have these turbines uh, in them. There's definitely an ownership. We own this community and you can change, you can be the agent of change.